What's up guys and welcome back to the Keep It Techie channel, your go-to channel for everything Linux and tech. If you're new here, I'm Josh and I'm all about helping folks like you dive into the world of Linux and tech. And today we're going to cover something super important for anyone running a server. And that's how to set a static IP address on your Ubuntu 24.04 server edition. Having a static IP is crucial for server stability, especially if you're hosting services or just want consistent network settings. So let's jump right in and make this easy and fun. All right, so before we get our hands dirty, let's quickly go over what we'll cover today. Now, I want to break it down into a few simple steps. Number one, understanding static IP addresses. I'll explain why you need one and how it differs from a dynamic IP. Number two, that's checking your current network configuration. We'll see what you're working with and gather some information. Number three, this is where we get down to the main event and that's configuring the static IP address. We'll go through and edit some configuration files and make a few changes to get things going. And number four, that is the testing and verifying stage. And this is basically to make sure everything works perfectly. Sounds good? Cool. Let's get started. Before we move forward, I wanted to give a quick shout out to CIQ, the official partner of Rocky Linux. Rocky Linux is a Linux distribution that is intended to be a downstream complete binary compatible release using the Red Hat Enterprise Linux operating system source code. The project is led by Gregory Kurtzer, who was the founder of the CentOS project. So check out Rocky Linux at CIQ.co. Now, first off, I just wanted to point out that I'm SSH'd into my Ubuntu 24.04 LTS server that I have on my network. And this is the server we wanna use for the demonstration. Now, first things first, let's understand why a static IP is important. Now, unlike a dynamic IP, which can change every time your server reboot, or your DHCP lease expires, a static IP remains the same. And this is essential for server reliability, especially if you're running services like web servers, DNS, or anything that clients need to consistently reach. So first off, let's go down and check our current network configuration. And in order to see that, you could just go right to the terminal and it's a simple command that you wanna type is IP and then space A. And this will give us our network configurations. Now, if we look at the results from this command, it will show you all the network interfaces and our current IP addresses. Up here at the top is the loopback address, just ignore that, but this is the network interface we wanna focus in on. And this is considered your primary network interface. And what you wanna do is note down the IP address of the server, as well as the subnet mask, which is represented by the CIDR24. Now that we have that information, let's go on and edit our configuration. And Ubuntu 24.04 uses an application called NetPlan for network configuration. And we'll edit the NetPlan configuration file to set a static IP address. And so let's go on and open it up. And what you need is whatever text editor you want to use. Some people use VI or Vim. I'll use Nano. Nano comes on Ubuntu by default as well. So you can follow along with the commands I'm going to type. So I'm going to type sudo nano and we have to use sudo because this file is owned by root it's under our etc directory and i don't know if you guys remember that from the last video but majority of the applications or services that are installed will have their configuration files under the etsy directory so there's a directory called netplan and then what we're looking for is let's see this 50 cloud dash init yaml we can go into that file and make changes there so let's go to press enter type in our pseudo password and one thing i typically tell you guys to do is make backups of these files that way you can revert back if you ever mess something up so that's one thing i'm gonna do right fast so let's do a quick copy and let's go back up here to the top and hit copy and then we can save it in that same location let's go etc net plan and then 50.cloud and what we want to do is create this as a backup file or something 
I'm gonna just put BCK, that'll work. That will ensure that we have a copy of the file, a backup in case we need to go back to it. Now let's go back into that file. So sudo nano or whatever text editor you wanna use. Go into that YAML file. And what we wanna do is change this to a static configuration. And I'll show you guys how to do that right fast. Now just to explain a little bit more, this file is generated on the system during the install in order to set up a DHCP configuration on the system. And just to show you guys, this is where it's setting it to P. And in order to set it static, all we had to do is remove that. So let's go down to this line and we're gonna remove DHCP from here. And then what we wanna do is type address. Just so you guys know, I have an example of this file on my GitHub. So just go to Keep It Techie on my GitHub and there is an example of this actual file. So let's go on and add our IP address. So let's, and one thing about YAML is kind of particular about the way you type things. So I'm just gonna follow it. It's best to copy it. That way you don't mess up anything while typing it because otherwise the configuration won't work. So but we wanna set a static IP address and I know my network is a 24 and it also uses 10. So 168, then dot 10. And then we can set it whatever we want to. You just want to make sure that that address is available on your network. And since the original was 212, I'm going to just go with 213. Hopefully it's available. Not 100% sure, but we'll find out in a minute if it is or not. But let's go on in at our gateway because that's another thing you need to add in here, which is your gateway. And you want to kind of follow this format the way i'm typing it out i'm putting spaces in there up to a certain point and then adding our information in there that way the yaml file understands exactly what you're doing that yaml kind of programming language is really finicky when it comes to spaces and tabs and all that stuff that's at least that's one thing i've seen while playing around with it like building out ansible playbooks it's, it, it can be a little finicky, but let's go on and let's finish our gateway. So I'm gonna just put 10.1. And then one thing I actually forgot, and I don't wanna forget that, but you need to put your CIDR in there. So put a forward slash 24, because that's the type of network that we have on this network. And let's go on and add our name server. So that's one of the last steps. So name, and you can specify whatever you want. If you have name servers at the house, I'm sure you know those IP addresses. You can add them here and let's go down and add our addresses in here and type that out and i could have simply typed this but i just wanted to type it out for you guys so you guys can kind of see the process and and it's not as difficult as you think you know what i'm saying so let's put a dash there and then eight dot eight dot eight dot and this is Google's uh, DNS servers. Just so you guys know, that's what we're adding in there. These are the Google name servers that are out there and are publicly available for anyone to use. I recommend using, you can use pretty much whatever name servers you want to use. Like for instance, I have a local one, but I'm just using this for this demonstration that I can use locally. But let's go down and just use this right fast. So it's eight, that's the secondary DNS server. And that's pretty much it. And you wanna verify this, that this has your interface name, which is that ENS18. Remember when we ran the IPA command, and then also we put in our IP address along with the CIDR, our gateway and our name servers. So we're good to go and just kind of follow this format and I'll put a new configuration file out there so you guys can kind of follow along. I'll kind of just put examples in here or I could put whatever, or I could leave it the same and just put uh, what I have here so you guys can just download that file onto your server, modify the IP address, and then set your static IP address from there. And so let's go down and save this file. So all we have to do is, and then also leave this version two here, but let's go down and hit control X and that'll exit out. And then what this is, is save modified buffer. You wanna type Y here for yes. You wanted to save those changes that we made to the configuration file to that file, basically. It says file name to write to and you're writing it out to that file. So let's go down and press enter and that'll close out the file. We have made our changes and we can go through and check it again. We can open up nano again and exit out, that's fine. Now let's go on and apply our configurations. And the way you do that is by using the net plan command. And let's go down and clear right fast so you guys can, I can bring it up to the top so you guys can see, but all you gotta do is type sudo net plan and then apply. And I may lose connection because the IP address is gonna change. I know it's was 213, but this command will apply your configuration 
And if everything is correct, it should now have a static IP address. And as you can kind of see, it's kind of frozen on me. Let's go down and get out of it because I'm gonna have to reconnect to the server using the new IP address. And I'll show you guys that in a second. All right, so we know what our new IP address is supposed to be, and it should be set there now. So let's go down and type SSH and then our new IP address. So 192.168.10213. Press enter. It's gonna ask to add our fingerprint. Yes, we wanna add the fingerprint. Boom. And this will verify that we have that new IP address set. So it's 213, as you can see, but you can run the IPA command again, and you'll see that we have that 213 IP address. And then we can also go in here. Let's see, we can type pseudo i don't know if we had to do cat but let's go etc net plan and then press enter going on and just print out what's in our configuration file yeah and there we go and then we can also let's say ping google or something this will let us know just if we have network connectivity we can get out to the internet from here so you can run the ping command and just check your system as long as you get a response, you're good to go. So you successfully set a static IP address on your Ubuntu 24.04 server edition. Like I said, this is a crucial step in ensuring your server is reliable and easily accessible. Now, if you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the Keep It Techie channel for more Linux and tech tutorials. Also hit that notification bell so you don't miss any updates on the channel. Now, if you got a question or need further clarification drop a comment down below and i'll be happy to help you out remember the world of linux is vast and there's always something new to learn so keep tinkering keep exploring and most importantly keep it techie